The Bard Plamuro breed is one of the most famous and sought after worldwide due to its high production of large brown eggs. It is also a rustic bird that is easy to care for and has a very calm temperament. This play moon rock breed has a very peculiar origin, as crosses were made between the famous Dominican Bard breed, which is an ancient indigenous breed from North America, and the Bras and Cochinchina breeds of Asian origin thanks to breeders who dedicated years to selecting and crossing this breed. They managed to establish the distinctive characteristic of the Bard Playamuro that we know today. But those same breeders decided to go further. When they saw that the chickens had some variations in the color of their plumage, they began selecting and crossing them again. This color that the chickens they were selecting had were yellow in different shades. By selecting and crossing these chickens for years, they achieved something that was never imagined. They succeeded in creating a completely yellow chicken variety, similar to the color of a neon and with the distinctive characteristic of the Playman R. Bard breed. This variety of Playman R. Bard was decided to be called Playman Ra Fawn or Buff because of the yellow color. This new variety of Playman Rock represents a fascinating example of perseverance and work. Its history reflects the search by creators to combine productivity with distinctive aesthetic characteristics. The development of the buff variety is not the result of years of meticulous selection and breeding. Specialized breeders with an in-depth knowledge of poultry genetics identified and crossed birds that exhibited color mutations towards golden yellow. This genetic variation, although initially perhaps rare, was the starting point for an intensive selection process. The goal was to fix the buff color consistently while maintaining the productive qualities of the original breed. The official recognition of the Playman Rewolf by the American Porciation in 1890 marked a crucial milestone. This recognition not only validated the work of the breeders, but also set a standard for the variety, as it met the quality criteria established by the breed, covering both its physical characteristics and its productive performance. Its most distinctive feature is its uniform golden-yellow plumage. Like the other variety, the premium bard, the buff is a dual-purpose bird, valued for both its egg production and meat. They are good for brown eggs. Generally, a play moon rock boof hen can lay between 200 to 250 eggs per year. They start laying at around 6 months of age. The eggs are medium to large in size, weighing approximately 60 to 65 grams with a brown shell. The Plemon rock boof has a moderate brooding instinct. This means that it can occasionally show a tendency to brood the eggs, although this is not as strong a characteristic as in some other breeds. Plem Roth roosters typically weigh between 3.3 to 4 kilograms, which is why they can be used primarily for meat production or for crossbreeding with broiler breeds or lines. Plear poof or fawn hens typically weigh between 2.6 to 3 kilograms. The weight of the females should be monitored regularly, as an overweight female can significantly decrease egg laying. The Plym Rock WOF is considered a moderately fast-growing breed. This means that it reaches its adult size in a relatively short time. This fast-growing quality can be used to improve slower-growing breeds, such as the Brahma, for example, through selective crossbreeding. One of the most appreciated characteristics of the Plym Rock WF is its docile and calm caterpillar. They are generally friendly and easy to handle birds, making them an excellent choice for breeders of all experience levels. They are known for being quiet birds, making them suitable for backyard breeding in environments where human interaction is frequent. The most distinctive feature of the Plemon Rock WOF is its uniform golden-yellow plumage known as buff or fawn. 
This color should be uniform throughout the body, with no significant spots or variations. The exact shade of buff can vary slightly, but the ideal standard is a warm, rich golden yellow. The feathers should have a smooth, glossy texture, contributing to the overall appearance of health. The Plemon Rock WOF does not have a defined barring pattern. The goal is to keep the color as uniform as possible. Even the tail and wing feathers are the only ones that may show some barring variation, but not excessively. While the Bard Plemon Rock WOF has an instinctive cross-barring pattern, the main differences lie in the color and pattern of the plumage. While the Plemon Rock WOF exhibits a uniform golden yellow color with very few bars, the Bard Plime R displays a well-defined black and white Bard pattern characteristic of the breed, a physical feature of the body of medium to large size with a robust and well-proportioned build. Rectangular shape with a long and broad back, deep and full chest. Single medium-sized comb with five well-defined bright red points. The wattles and lobes are medium-sized red. The legs are yellow, medium length and strong, free of feathers. Males are larger and more robust than females, with more developed combs and wattles and a longer and more lush tail. Unlike barred plime chicks that are born sexable by having black down with a white spot on the head, Buoff chicks have a color pattern that determines sex, therefore they are not sexable. They are born with a light yellow down that can vary in intensity between chicks. They grow rapidly developing their adult plumage as they mature. The characteristic buffka color begins to appear gradually. The Playmond Rock WOF or Fawn variety is just one of many color variations within the Bard Playmond Roba breed, including the white, which has all white plumage prized for its clean, elegant appearance. The plumage is white with black feathers on the neck and tail, creating a striking contrast. Partridge, the plumage is reddish-brown with a black lace pattern giving it an intricate and detailed appearance. Blue, the plumage is uniformly bluish-gray giving it a soft, serene appearance. Silver Pencil, the plumage is silver with black pencil-shaped markings giving it an elegant appearance. The most striking thing about all these color varieties of the Playmond Raw is that they all share the same production characteristics such as number of eggs per year, sex, weight and temperament. Crossing a barred puff rooster with a Playman puff hen will produce offspring with a blend of traits from both parents. The bar pattern will be expressed, but the color of the bars may vary. The barred pattern is a dominant genetic trait, meaning that when crossed with a breed that does not have the barred pattern, the barred pattern is expressed in the offspring. The Buoff color is a recessive trait in order for it to be fully expressed, both parents must carry the Buoff color traits. The chicks resulting from this cross are called F1 or the first generation. They will have a barred pattern, but the color of the bars may vary. Some chicks may have lighter bars or with yellowish tones due to the influence of the Buoff hen. Some offspring will show a mixture of the two colors with a less defined and generally lighter barring. Selective breeding can be used to emphasize certain traits in future generations. It is also important to note that Plime Rocks are dual-purpose birds, so the offspring will maintain the characteristics of good egg and meat production. This Plemon Raw breed is a breed with many qualities, no matter which color you choose. It is a breed with good egg production, very calm temperament and very excellent weight. Ideal for breeders who like to have a breed to keep in the backyard and supply the kitchen with both eggs and meat. To your success, fellow breeder. Until next time.